Okay, before we get into today's video, we want to share with you a website that's going to be a game changer for all current and aspiring digital nomads and freelancers called Remote Hub. Remote Hub is the job marketplace and community that connects and matches companies with remote professionals, or if you're a freelancer looking to showcase your talent or portfolio, it's the perfect place to find new clients. We wish we would have known about Remote Hub when we were first getting started in our digital nomad journeys because it would have just made things so much easier. Remote Hub is used and trusted by many big name companies, so you know they're the real deal. If you're looking to discover new opportunities or grow your business, click the link below in the description and join the Remote Hub ecosystem today. All right, now let's get into today's video. We're Lloyd and Mandy, digital nomads who've been traveling the world for the past 12 months searching for a home base while discovering exciting new places to live. For the next few days, we'll be exploring Mexico City to find out why it has recently become the number one destination in the world for digital nomads. Okay, we just arrived in Mexico City. We're here for three days and the main purpose I think of us being here for the next few days is figure out why so many expats are coming here. So many digital nomads, people from the US specifically, seem to be moving here in big numbers and I've been getting mixed reports about them driving the price up and locals not really liking Americans moving here or expats in general. And I really just wanted to figure out why they're moving here. Um, it's not something I ever thought about doing, but I haven't spent much time here. It is the biggest city in North America, so I wanna figure out if it's affordable, what the benefits are, what some of the downfalls are, and really get a feel for it ourselves over the next few days. <laughs> So we just found a gym right next to where we're staying. It's an Anytime Fitness, which seemed to be all over the world. Um, it cost us, what was it? 180 pesos for a drop-in, which is pretty good. And it was a pretty good gym. Um, I think you can get pretty cheap weekly prices. I have seen a lot of gyms around here, so you shouldn't have any problems finding a local gym, wherever you're staying. Now we're gonna go get some breakfast. Yeah. This is so nice. There's beautiful fountains and a really nice park just across the street. Um, feels like there's lots of other expats doing work from the cafes as well, which is always super motivating when there's other people working around. Uh, it's just a really peaceful vibe. It's really nice. I've noticed is that it's been very easy to get around. Uh, Ubers are super accessible here and pretty affordable. Traffic however is something definitely to take note of. <laughs> we just finished doing some shopping. Uh, we're in a big mall here in the Quelltemec, I think it's how you say it, area. Uh, really easy to go shopping like there's every major chain very modern mall very modern city it feels like at the moment um, there's like Starbucks and very, like lots of American brands here yeah I think the shopping here is generally pretty easy like it was very easy for us so that's definitely something if you're someone looking to move here or if you've just moved here I can see why 
definitely wouldn't have any troubles uh, doing any shopping. Okay, so if you are planning on moving here, you're probably going to need to get a haircut or go to a beauty salon at some stage. Uh, I was lucky enough to find a place called Bad Bonita. She did my eyebrows and eyelashes better than anyone has ever done it and it was super affordable. I highly recommend it. Lloyd also ducked into the barber yesterday, which was also really affordable and they did a great job. All these types of things seem super accessible and more affordable than most other cities, I think. I think my haircuts are alright. Um, it was really easy and even though they didn't speak English, it was really easy to tell them what I wanted and it costed me 250 pesos which is like $12, $15 um, so that was pretty good. We're going to check out some more local cafes and restaurants um, specifically around the Roma area, Roma Norte. I know that that seems to be a really popular place for expats and people moving here because it is quite a nice neighbourhood and there's lots of options for food and drinks and cafes and things like that. It looks really cool and everything's in English. It honestly doesn't feel like we're in Mexico anymore. glass of wine but they have two different types of Aperol spritz here that sound amazing and I love an Aperol so I don't know. <laughs> I love the vibe of it here. All the lighting everywhere. It just feels like really nice sitting on the streets and seems like what everyone's doing. It's definitely not just Mexican food at all. Like there's Italian, American, Argentinian, Spanish, everything you can think of really. I think I might have to get a glass of red wine and some pasta. I think when it's homemade, it's not too bad, eh? But I've just got to figure out which wine to get. This is pretty cool. They've got all the wines just on like an iPad that they sit in front of your table. And this bread that comes out. I feel so fancy, but this is like really affordable. Yeah. If we did this back home, we'd be dropping easily 200 bucks. Easily. Um, we'll probably walk out of here $50, I'd say. Alright, we both went with minestrone soup because we already had a snack and they give you all this bread. So, like, we're not eating a big bowl of pasta as well. It smells incredible. They also give us this little, I don't even know what that is. It's got like fruit in it, like it's a sweet. of some sort. It might be dessert, eh? It looks delicious. Very happy. I've been running wild ever since I left Virginia. 
trying to find a thing that might be mine. See the sunlight rising in the mountains On January in the morning sky I know that the world is ever steady changing Lord, give me wings so I could fly away to life This is one of those magazine stands that's always in the movies in New York <laughs> Someone always sees themselves on the cover of a magazine accidentally. <laughs> Let's go Alright, so we're heading home. We just went to three places here in Roma. We went to like an American burger bar, which had like sports and stuff on. And then we went to this Italian restaurant, which was sort of fancy, but still cheap. And we just finished off at another little bar that is like a pizza place as well. And the whole time we could just hear people speaking English around us. Um, I sort of forgot we were in Mexico, honestly. This area of Roma, which I believe is the most popular for expats to live in, um, just seems like the easiest place to come out and eat a drink if you're a foreigner. Probably don't even really need to know how to speak Spanish. One thing I've noticed here is if you ride bicycles, the bike lanes are everywhere and they're very accessible and they seem to be very clearly blocked off. There's never cars in them, which I think is super handy for getting around. And so how much is this for two you people? Your bracelet is for 160 pesos by person. Okay. And with only one bracelet, you, when you come back here, you can take you know, a, this and this. Oh, and you take any? Oh, yeah. with one bracelet? Okay. Yeah, oh, cool. and it's for 24 hours. This is the bus? Yes. buses because we thought it would be a good way to see a lot more of the city which it was uh, however we sat in traffic for probably 98% of it um, I fell asleep as you probably saw so we decided to jump off a little bit early and now we're in an area we're not really sure where we are we're gonna have to just get an uber back to Roma Norte um, try and find something for lunch don't know if I would recommend the double-decker bus for sightseeing unless you want to sit in traffic it's just 
um, the traffic is way too hectic here. <laughs> okay, so obviously everything we've gone over makes it seem pretty appealing to live in Mexico City as a digital nomad. But the one thing we haven't really touched on yet is the cost of housing. So just doing a little bit of research, the average price to buy a house in Roma Norte, which is the area where we were spending most of our time and we think is the nicest area in Mexico City, is just under 6.7 million pesos, which is about US $350,000. Uh, while the average cost of an apartment is about 5 million pesos, which is about 250,000 US dollars. Obviously that's not super cheap, but when you compare it to major cities in the US and Australia and the UK, that's very cheap. And don't forget that this is the most sought after neighborhood in Mexico City. It's where all the restaurants and bars are. It's where really most of the expats really want to move. It's the safest area in the city. But rather than just taking their word for it, I'm actually having a look on Facebook Marketplace. Okay, for instance, here's a, looks like a two bedroom property right in the middle of Roma Norte, which is Mexican pesos, $17,000. Sorry, 17,000 Mexican pesos. Um, that works out to be like roughly $800 a month. These are really nice. Here's another one for 13,000 pesos. That's like $650 a month. Three bedroom. Yeah. And this is in a good area. This isn't like in a bad area of Mexico City. This is around the Roma Norte area. So yeah, as you can see, um, the cost of housing in Mexico City is probably one of the biggest selling points for people wanting to move there, especially if you're a digital nomad and you can work online. But keep in mind that you do need to get the right visa. Don't just go there on a tourist visa thinking that you can live there forever and work um, and not pay taxes and not contribute to uh, the Mexican people and also Try to go to the local Mexican restaurants as well and Mexican businesses and support them. You don't really want to be taking advantage of the locals. So let us know what you think down in the comments. Would you live in Mexico City? Are you from Mexico City? Do you recommend people live there? Do you recommend they stay away? Let us know in the comments. Um, and as always, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.